welcome students good morning now we will continue the chapter from the beginning of time this is module 2 we will start the first homo it is a latin word latin word which means man or woman which means man or woman this is most important part the beginning of the human creatures that came on the earth or you may say the beginning of wise men even we may say when they originated about 2.5 2.2 million years ago that these creatures came on the earth okay they have they have been classified into three parts that is homo habilis it means the tool maker if you see the meaning of this this is tool maker and they originated about 2.2 million years ago we are discussing about the homo which means man or woman they are the modified form or the beginning of the modern man and these tool makers we can say some of the tools that were found in ethiopia kenya tanzania they are showing that these tools they belong to this is 2.2 million years ago that is the most important part that are found and next is homo erectus if you see upright posture in others we have discussed about the upright posture it means that can walk straight like we are moving earlier these type of the characteristic feature that was not found in other creatures that were earlier like primates hominoids and others so this was a plus point that was rated even some of the thing that are found and they originated they originated about 1.8 million years ago most important now gradually we are moving towards the modern means as we are the part and third has been classified as homo sapiens homo sapiens most important part related to human beings that we will be discussing homo habilis if you see the meaning it means homo habilis that most important part that is sorry homo sapiens that is most important part this is means the wise of or thinking man the wise or thinking man who have the quality of think we human beings so this is related to modern men and they originated about they originated about 0.19 to 0.16 million years ago they are the beginning of the wise men we can say and you have read in your general knowledge books this is the scientific this is the scientific name of human beings in many of the books and a competitive like that the ask what is the scientific name of the humans that is homo sapiens you should know now we have some of the characteristics that they were having the same they move on two legs that in common upright posture that is that was the part and again we can see that specialization of end specialization of end. that what it means these were some of the features that you should know and gradually the other forms of the modern man that evolved from here now we can see that these were the tool makers upright posture was there and the modern man that they were living gradually as the time progressed 
a lot of changes came into the human beings at first they were the hunter gatherers that move from one place to another as the time progressed they became the food producers and now most important thing that we will be discussing that how these things that are proved how these things that are proved by this now this is first thing is two models have been given or proved by the scholars that is replacement model replacement model next is regional continuity model regional continuity model these were the two models that were given by the scholars by the scientists and in this they are saying that we will discuss first what is in that the scholars are saying that the humans origin starts from one place that is africa and with the same body structure same body structure they move to other parts of the world they move to other parts of the world that was most important thing it means these creatures that were living on the earth and the scholars what they said that their origin that is in africa that is in africa they are saying and what are they saying that these creatures they moved from africa to other parts of the world from other parts of the world okay now what are that you can see example the african people the african people what we can see in any parts of the world they have some similarities common features are there this is the replacement model now next that we will be discussing about that is regional continuity model regional continuity model what is in that b part what they are saying that the creatures evolved on this earth we in the same part of the world you may say that for example in asia africa and europe simultaneously the creature evolved side by side gradually they were living in those places and when they grow up ya when they develop they develop with the same characteristics same physical structure as they were living so what was that this model is saying that the creatures who were living on those areas on their own areas they develop and they were saying that these creatures they have the variations in their appearances you can see the african people the european people and the asian people they have some of the variations it means when we have their facial expression or their body structure this is different this is the model that has been told by the scholars of regional continuity model replacement is saying that they are having the common origin that is africa and in continuity model they are saying that simultaneously in all the three parts of the world that is asia europe and africa the humans originated and they evolved they developed and they look different you can see the europeans they are not similar to us the africans they are not similar to us so it means this is the process this is the you may say thesis that has been told by replacement and regional continuity model now next thing that we will be discussing about the food how these primates how these 
early humans they were arranging their food material means now the thing that we will be discussing about their food early humans how they were ar arranging their food early humans how they were arranging what were the things that were done now if we see our time we are doing some work we are doing some business and after that we are moving to the other parts of the world even we have to migrate to other parts now first thing is that is they are having about the gathering first thing means gather what they gather or they collect the fruits seeds nuts berries etc and store them this is about the gathering so that they can able to feed themselves and for a limited period during hard times they can survive this is about the gathering second is hunting it is also most important part hunting we know that these early humans they were the hunter gatherers what were they doing they were aware about these early humans do hunting and what was that in what was that in a plain way in a plain way with the help of the tools these early humans do hunting in a plain way with the help of the tools that was the most important part of this so what was the important thing that hunting was practiced and these early humans with the help of the tools and planning they were able to complete this hunting expedition and they can feed their family and themselves also so it means some of the evidences are also found that are in boxgrove in england and skenjin in germany where a lot of bones or skeletons are found of these early humans it means that may be of the animals or other creatures that they are saying that these creatures evolved on the earth now next is that we have to discuss about fishing that was also an important part fishing was practiced some of the remains of that net or fish bones that are found they are saying that fishing was also practiced for the survival of these fishing was practiced next thing is even even rodents insects birds and eggs that were also eaten by these early humans so that was the thing that were required because they have to feed themselves whatever the circumstances that they were getting they were fulfilling their needs okay now next thing is another method that was used by these people that was also about the scavenging scavenging i think you are aware the next is scavenging that is also an important part it mean some of the animals that are found there and they are dead already dead ya yeah, they have been killed by any of the predators so that can also be used you may say the rotten one the the early humans were also eating these types of the eating this type of the meat also or animals also that was also because that was whatever they were getting they were feeding themselves that was the most important part okay now next thing that we will be discussing about this was the food now most important is about the tools that was most important that was required now we have discussed these were the food habits that were fulfilled that they were now tools some of the evidences of tools are also found 
that may be into the part of even Europe or in Africa. Some of the places are there where the tools, evidences are found. Tools. You can see what was that the making of tools. First is making of tools. How these creatures they were making the tools. How? Now you can see maximum tools were made from stone or the bones of the animals. It is understood because no such technology, no such things were available that they can utilize. So what was that? Two stones were taken. One was of big and one was of small size. And they tried to break that till the desired shape is not found. It means two, tail, uh, two tool, you may say stones are there. One is small, one is large. And by beating that, by hitting that, they are giving the desired shape. Even some of the evidences that are found, the tools may be like choppers, hammers, knives, and even chisel or you may say axes. These types of even durings, these types of the tools that were found. You can see even needle type tools, needle. Needle type tools were also found. You can see that needle. You can see most important part. Because these creatures, they were not aware about the clues. But as the human beings progress, they were aware about these. This was the beginning of these tools that were made. Another method that was used by that, that was of the pressure flaking. That was also method. What was in that? Again, the same method, the tools were taken with sharp edges and they can make the holes. They can able to adjust those. So that was the most, these types of the tools that were found and they were very helpful. They were very important. These tools are able to tell that these human beings, they were the hunter gatherers and even most important, like spear throw, and bow and arrow. You have seen archery. Jisko bolte hain bhala. You have seen. These spear throwers and bow arrow. They were the most important tool of the modern man. Because with the help of these tools. They can able to use on the big animals. For their safety also. For their protection also. These tools we can say they were very important for the early humans and they changed their lives because now they can able to kill the large animals also. Not the small one but the large one with these spear throwers because they were large in size and they can be used for their safety also. So two things we discussed. The first is about their food. Next is about the tools. That was the most important part that now. Next thing that we will be discussing that is about the communication. Most important part communication. Most important part the communication or the language. That is most important part. You know that human beings are the only creature that have the knowledge, skill and the words to share, to communicate. Otherwise, we will be similar to the animals. Now, this communication that gradually changed the lives of the early humans. These types of the, you may say, language that was very helpful for these types of the creatures. Okay, now first, what was that non-verbal, non-verbal communication that was used because in that words are not, in that words are not, only you may say gestures, eye contact, 
that are found so these non verbal communication gestures or eye contact or you may say even hand signs that were also found of this that were utilized that were used by the non verbal because they can't utter the words they can be singing also they can be shouting also other things you can see some of the animals are there they can't speak but with their non verbal you may say different sounds are there when they are in excitement when they are in the danger or when they are in the enjoyment mood so it means this was the most important part and gradually these human beings that they were using non verbal after that that may be the conversion of verbal calls verbal type of the communication that start the words the words that were used the words that were used that were very important these were very important as i am speaking you are listening you are speaking we are communicating we are sharing the idea this is the verbal communication that proved a weapon that changed the human beings how so what happened when the verbal communication started the modern humans they start to communicate they can discuss their problems they can share the ideas about the how to make the tools how to hunt the animals they can discuss about their places also where they are hidden and even they can tell about that these things were found that were very helpful this verbal communication helped a lot help a lot for these and even some of the evidences that are related to this that are found on the earth so that were most important part communication that changed the lives of the human beings and gradually now they start to be the part of modern man with the words that we are communicating so in communication we start from the gestures and move to the words that change the lives of the people so language because animals they can't speak only humans that we are that we are speaking so that was the important thing for this now next topic that is most important fire if fire and wheel were not invented the humans they can't develop that was the most important part fire a boon for humans that was the because earlier you know that these creatures they were living on the earth and they were hunter gatherers they were not aware about the fire they were eating the uncooked food whatever the situations they were having they were controlling okay now after this what was in that fire what the evidences are the evidences are shown nearly 1.4 million years ago these evidences that are found that are saying that humans they were aware about the fire and even able to control the fire this is also most important use and control so that if because fire is there and if it is burning that will damage we have to you may say close that down also that should also be the most important was the controlling of the fire and what was that you can frame any of the points regarding this the uses of fire most important is evidences and where these evidences are found lazaret caves in france where in france two evidences are showing a hut and some food remains that are shown and what is to heras these are also found that are related to this to heras are also found jisko bolte hain chula angiti these are also found nearby hut so in france this evidence shows that human beings they were aware about the fire if this fire was not invented the humans 
दे कॉन्ट एबल टू सेव दे कॉन्ट एबल टू ईट द कुक फूड दैट इज मोस्ट इंपोर्टेंट पार्ट दैट चेंज द लाइफ ऑफ द ह्यूमन बींग्स थैंक यू